Getting moving. During this first lesson, you'll learn all about the main hand and foot controls of the car, how to complete a cockpit drill, how to move away safely from the side of the road, and then pull up safely again. Hand controls. The steering wheel. The steering wheel is used to turn the front wheels of the car when changing direction. If you imagine the steering wheel to be a clock face with the 12 at the top, you normally place your hands at the 10 to 2 position, or if you find it more comfortable, the quarter to 3 position. When using the steering wheel, pull and push the wheel through your hands without crossing them over. Indicators The indicator stalk is usually located to the left of the steering wheel. It can be identified by this symbol. Keep your hand on the steering wheel and use your fingertips to operate this control. To signal, move the stalk in the same direction you will turn the steering wheel for the maneuver. The indicators will usually cancel themselves after manoeuvring. However, always check by looking for the flashing green arrow on the dashboard and listening for the clicking sound. Don't leave a signal on when not needed, as this can be misleading and dangerous. Gear lever The gear lever is usually located towards the front of the car between the front seats. It's used, in combination with the clutch, to select the gears. There are usually five forward gears and one reverse gear. Each gear controls the amount of power transmitted to the driving wheels of the vehicle. The location of each gear is displayed on the top of the gear lever. Make yourself familiar with this in each car that you drive. Between the gears is a central position known as neutral. When the gear lever is in this position, there's no gear selected. Neutral can be identified by moving the gear lever freely from side to side. Handbrake The handbrake is usually found behind the gear lever and between the two front seats. It's used to keep the car secure once stationary. Because the handbrake only operates on two wheels, it shouldn't be used when the car is moving. To release the handbrake, hold it with your left hand and pull up slightly. Now press the button on the end of the handbrake with your thumb and lower the lever to the floor. To apply the handbrake, hold it with your left hand, press the button in using your thumb and then pull the lever up as far as it'll go. Then release the button and the handbrake itself. If the handbrake hasn't been released correctly, you'll see this warning light on the dashboard. Never drive with this light illuminated. Foot controls There are three pedals located in the driver's footwell. These are the accelerator, the brake, the clutch. A, B, C. Accelerator the accelerator, or gas pedal as we'll refer to it from now on, is used with the right foot. It controls the speed of the car by increasing or decreasing the flow of fuel to the engine. The gas pedal should be pressed down smoothly and gently. Foot brake The foot brake, or brake pedal as we'll refer to it from now on, is also used with the right foot. It's used to control the speed of the car slow the car down or bring the car to a halt, and operates the brakes on all four wheels of the car. When this pedal is pressed, the brake lights at the back of the car come on, warning following drivers that you're slowing down or stopping. The pedal should be pressed progressively firmer, then as you reach the required speed, smoothly released. Because you use your right foot to control both the gas and the brake pedals, it's recommended that you place your heel midway between the two. This will allow you to pivot your foot from one pedal to the other, trying to keep your heel on the floor. When operating both these pedals, you should use the ball of your foot.
Clutch. The clutch pedal is used with the left foot. If possible, keep your heel on the floor and use the ball of your foot to operate the pedal. Press the pedal down firmly as far as it will go. Then, release it slowly and smoothly. When pressed down, the clutch pedal breaks the link between the engine and the driving wheels of the car by separating the clutch plates. When released, the clutch pedal brings the plates back together and links the engine to the wheels of the car so that it can move. This only works if the engine is switched on and a gear is engaged. If the pedal is brought up too quickly, the car may stall. When you're not using the clutch pedal, place your left foot on the floor alongside the pedal. Don't drive along with your foot resting on the pedal, as this can cause unnecessary wear and tear to the clutch mechanism itself. The cockpit drill. Entering the car safely. Before entering a car, you must check that it's safe to do so. Approach the car from behind wherever possible, then look up and down the road for traffic before opening the door. As soon as you're seated, check that the handbrake is applied by pulling up on it like this. Leaving the car safely. It's just as important to check for safety before you leave the car. Check the driver's door mirror and look over your right shoulder before opening the door to make sure you're not going to inconvenience anyone. The cockpit drill. Once you're safely in the car, you must go through what's commonly known as the cockpit drill. This must be carried out every time you get in the car, regardless of whether you were the last person to drive or not. The cockpit drill ensures that you can locate and use all the controls of the car and get the best view possible of the road ahead and in the mirrors. The drill also ensures that you've fastened your seatbelt and advised any passengers accordingly. Doors Check that the doors are securely closed. Use the door mirrors to help you. They should look like this. Or you may see a warning sign like this. Seat Move the base of the seat into a position where you can press the clutch pedal, that's the one on the left, all the way to the floor with a slight bend in your knee like this. If the base of the seat can be raised up and down, adjust it to give yourself a good view of the road ahead. Now adjust the backrest or rake of the seat. You should be able to hold your steering wheel with your hands in the 10 to 2 position with your elbows slightly bent. Slide your hands around the steering wheel, making sure your arms are not restricted. You may also be able to adjust the position of the steering wheel, like this. Finally, adjust the head restraint to give you maximum protection in the event of collision. The thickest part of the head restraint should be in line with the top of your ears, like this. Mirrors When you're in the correct seating position, adjust your driving mirrors so that you have a clear view of the road behind and to the sides of your vehicle. Some mirrors are electrically operated and may require you to turn the ignition key. Adjust the interior mirror using your left hand. Place your thumb and forefinger around the edge of the mirror and move it until the rear window is framed in the mirror. Be careful not to touch the mirror when doing this as fingerprints on the glass can distort the image. Adjust the door mirrors so that you can see some of the side of your car and directly back along the road or footpath, like this. You may notice that objects seen in the door mirror appear smaller and so seem further away. This is because the glass in the door mirrors is convex, which gives a wider field of vision but is not a true reflection of distance and size. 
Take this into consideration when using the door mirrors. Seat belt. Put your seat belt on and ensure that the belt lies flat against your body without any twisting. Make sure the buckle clips securely into the fastening point. When removing your seat belt, press the button to release the buckle, then keep hold of it. Don't allow the buckle to recoil on its own, as this may cause damage to the car's window. Fuel. Before setting off, check that you have sufficient fuel for your journey. Some fuel gauges register when the ignition is switched off. Others, however, will only register when the ignition is switched on. Moving off. Moving away safely is easy, provided you follow the prepare, observe and maneuver routine, or POM for short. P. Make sure the car is ready to move. O. Make sure it is safe to move. M. Move the car forward into the correct driving position. Prepare. First of all, press the clutch pedal down to the floor, then select first gear. Rest your left hand on the handbrake. Set the gas by gently pressing the accelerator pedal so that you can hear a lively humming sound. Bring the clutch pedal up slowly and smoothly until you hear the engine tone drop slightly. You might also feel the car start to pull against the handbrake. Keep both feet still. This is called the biting point. Observe. The car is now ready to move, so make sure that it's safe to move by taking effective observations around the car. Start by checking the left door mirror, then the interior mirror. Look ahead and then check the right door mirror. Finally, check your right blind spot by turning to look over your right shoulder through the rear side window. The blind spot is an area to the sides of your vehicle that can't be seen in any of your mirrors. You must always check your blind spot for hazards such as cyclists or vehicles emerging from junctions or driveways before you move away. Next, ask yourself, is it safe to go? Will another road user benefit from a signal? Remember that pedestrians are also road users. Then, signal if necessary. Maneuver. When you're sure it's safe to move away, release the handbrake and return your left hand to the steering wheel. Start to bring the clutch pedal up slowly and smoothly as you gently press the gas pedal. As the car starts to move, check your interior mirror and right door mirror again. Once the clutch is up fully, place your left foot on the floor alongside the pedal or on the footrest if there is one. Steer gradually to your normal driving position one meter from the curb. Cancel your signal if you applied one. Gently press the accelerator pedal to increase speed if needed and look well ahead. Stopping You'll learn how to stop safely on the left-hand side of the road using the mirror's signal maneuver routine, or MSM for short. Check your interior mirror and left door mirror. Consider if anyone would benefit from a signal and signal if required. Steer gradually closer and parallel to the curb. Gently press the foot brake to bring the car to a halt. Remember to use the brake progressively, and just before the car stops, Press the clutch fully down to the floor and start to ease off the brake slightly. You may find that if your car is traveling very slowly in first gear, you have to press the clutch down before applying the foot brake. This is perfectly acceptable, otherwise the car will stall. Keep your feet still while you make the car safe by applying the handbrake and selecting neutral. Cancel your signal if you applied one, then take your feet off the pedals and relax. 
Practice moving off and stopping several times in first gear until you're feeling quite confident with the procedures and you have good control of the car.